Okay, welcome to the September 18th, 2024 Finance Committee. Um, you are being audio and video recorded. And we, um, let's have a roll call to start. Sure. Councillor Mayori. Here. Um, Councillor Molt. Here. Councillor Elkins. Here. And Councillor Lovett. Yes. Okay. I'm here. Okay, full attendance. Excellent. Um, let's see, I don't see if there's any public comment. I'm just seeing two counselors. If there's no public comment, we will move on to approval of um, minutes from the previous meeting. I entertain a motion. Uh, I move to approve the minutes from May 8th, uh, June 6th. June 11th, June 17th, those were all Finance Committee minutes, and then the joint meeting of the Finance Committee and Legislative Matters on May 13th. Move to approve. That's right. That's right. No one's remote. If you want. No one's remote. Let's do it. Uh, we'll do a voice vote on approval of the minutes. Mm -hmm. Aye. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any nays? No. And also, thank you, uh, Councilor Moulton, for for those meetings, for running many of those meetings, and Laura for the minutes. Okay. Well, so we, yeah, that was excellent. Okay. So we do have a special guest tonight. <laughs> um, we have member Carrie Labounty from the school committee, who's graciously um, agreed to join us tonight to talk about um a motion that she she um passed in school committee and lot more largely about collaboration between the city council and the school committee around the sc school budgetary issues um member labounty we brought this up briefly in full council and we decided we would meet um in in a subcommittee and just get some clarification from you so we don't ha we haven't um made a game plan or decided where to go but we wanted to check in with you and then tomorrow on the the full city council meeting we have on the agenda that I will report back to the other councilors although we do have a couple of councilors who are clearly listening in okay so welcome um, Laura, would you like to, would you be able to uh, screen share the, sure, the statement, statement, which was really well crafted? Just, we're going to share your mission statement. Oh, okay. Just to keep us on task. Okay, can you see that? Yeah, it looks like the bottom. I try to make it. Make no, can you? I, I don't know if I'm. I just want to make sure I'm not missing the last sentence. Um, on mine, I can't. Well, read. I, I'd have to scroll down to get. That might be the last sentence to. No, that's that's okay. That was the last sentence. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, Would you actually like to just read it? And can we we'll all like yeah. think while you're reading? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and I just want to say that this is really just a straw dog, right? Of uh, to bring forth for discussion. It is. It is not. Um, I am not wedded to this. I'm wedded to the idea of the collaboration. The structure is something that you know, uh, to make the motion to bring it forward for discussion. So this is what um, uh, I'm proposing and you all can take it under consideration. So the purpose of the joint school committee and city council work group is to creatively consider current and potential future policies, procedures, and actions on the part of each body that may impact positively or negatively our ability to create a sustainable budget that ensures a high quality education for all students in Northampton Public Schools. Examples of this would be to consider um, the impact of multi-year budgeting on the part of the school committee. 
That's something we've talked about together. Or looking at how budget forecasting is done in the city as the last few years have resulted in higher amounts of free cash than might be desirable if we want to better fund our current operations. Uh, the idea of having a subset of each body um, as you'll see below uh, what the structure and representation is on, on the working group is that there is inherently a more efficient and effective total number of participants in a working group. And the larger a group is, the more likely there is of time and effort wasted on participants needed to either make their points or getting lost on tangents. The idea is to approach our dire situation with curiosity and creativity, not with set ideas of outcomes or to be defensive of our current state, such that this is the way we've always done it becomes the mantra nor is the purpose to overthrow the current state, rather is to work collaboratively to seek possibilities in service of our schools and the communities. So I propose that the representation be three to four reps from each of the bodies, uh, that we have a time limited period of time, say about six months, you know, October, uh, November to March, 2025, and that the outcome will be a report, a distillation of possible policy, workflow, and action implementations or changes presented to the school committee, to the um, city council, and to the public for discussion and acceptance. So that's what I brought forth. Um, Thank you. Do you have questions or would you like to know more of the thinking around it? Um, counselors. Well, uh, Chair, Rachel. Um, I I'm kind of imagining that this is a good opportunity to just kind of have a pretty free flowing. Yeah, actually, that so I don't. If if let's play it that we'll just kind of talk, you know, just kind of talk and and have a less formal um, okay. situation. So yes, just feel free to to ch to chime in, and and also feel free to if I go on a tangent. <laughs> um, I so I I, I so you. Carrie, you and I, we also do first names, <laughs> if that's okay. Yeah. Um, in committees, we tend to anyway. Um, so, Carrie, I know you and I have talked a few times, and um, uh, and I, I, I'm really interested in this idea. I mean, back when we had the um, the opt in, the discussion about the opt in, I, I said at that time, you know, that I was interested in having a discussion and and. I was in earnest and I, and I meant it and I meant also, you know, just, you know, for the record, we have people gone different ways here is, is that I think there's a lot of value in including, and I hate, I mean, one things that I've hated it about how this discussion has gone is I, because it's starting to say the sides, the two sides, yeah. and I don't, and I'm not sure I agree with that framing. Um, in fact, I've said on the record, I'm not, I don't agree with that framing, but with that said, you know, that the votes have come out in various ways, but I think there could be a lot of value with uh, like less of a report, but, or then, I don't know, I kind of, what I talked with you about, or sort of what I imagined before you put forward your thing is the idea of trying to come up with a way to bring forward in both bodies resolutions that could be like joint or, you know, identical resolutions that could be considered by both bodies. Um, I, for me, that what is um, what is difficult about this is how do we have that conversation? How do you get a productive conversation done within the constraints of open meeting law? If we designate it or if we designate a working group um, or say it's going to be like finance and the uh, the budget, the school committee budget committee, then then everything has to be open and that's okay you know and um i just i don't know i mean like how do we how do we get the get at the nub of this and 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 generate something that we feel like we can all talk about in the context of our larger bodies so that do you have any thoughts on that or well i think you're right that uh depending on the constitution of the group you have to you know you have to deal with open meeting law and how that how that works so i guess that's that's part of this discussion right it's thinking how do you get to that uh to that place is it about the number which is also why i said the number of people mm -hmm. because i it was concerned about you know how do you how do you have a, a group that actually makes sense and can can talk to one another and can can have those conversations and i'll also still have the um uh, experience that you might want on the group. Um, so, you know, I, I didn't have a set idea other than I didn't think it should be both 
big groups coming together. You know, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> get anywhere, you know, but I know that there were, you know, different ideas about that. So. Um, see. Okay. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Go ahead, Mary. My question is: You have a finance committee and school committee, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, do they know that you're here tonight and talking about this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I heard you say policies, procedures, and so forth like that. I know where you're coming at mm -hmm. of trying to get us together to cooperate and so forth on the budget in that. And to be honest with you, it's the worst budget I've seen ever as a city councilor. Horrifying. I just have a problem of saying three and three or four and four or whatever. But I also have a problem about the policies with school committee, your procedures and your structure, you got elected mm -hmm. on that position to handle that budget for the school committee. And I hear it from many, many people. But I do agree, because way back, we had a committee for working with the school committee way back. And it panned out not for quite a while. They tried to work it out, and it didn't last. But knowing what has happened here, like I stated, that it's the worst budget I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And I cannot believe the outcry in this city. I mean, it's your responsibility, the school committee, with that budget. Mm -hmm. It comes to us then. We have the responsibility, all right, of looking at the budget and then working with our mayor very, very closely right from the beginning with the budget hearings like we go through. And I found it very difficult this time because not knowing how bad that budget was with the school committee until the mayor came forth in January and came out and stated to us counselors joint meeting with school committee that with the percentages at that point, okay? So we waited and we had our finance hearings with our departments and so forth like that. I agree with Melissa, I like the idea, but I'm a little hesitant about how we're gonna go about it. Because I think it's needed now, because after what I saw that has happened here, Right. And and the school committee has responsibility and no power. So oh yes. So we have to it's important when you're in that position to work with those who have power, <laughs> right? And to be working together. When you, um, what do you mean by that? I because so we don't you know, talk about the opt in, opt out debacle, right? Oh we don't have any authority to tell to come back to you and say, or even to really say ultimately all we can go is go here, put that there, put that there, but we can't ultimately say um, much about it, uh, the budget. We can we can make some line item things, but ultimately we don't have that power um, to send it back to you. Any, I mean, you'll send it back to you because you look at it, but not to say, you know, this or that. So, you know, so what we have to do is, is we have to be working together better before we get to that point. If that's what I'm saying. And, and I, you know, this isn't, it doesn't have to be the way it is. Like it really, it could be resolutions that we make together. It could be something else. The, what we can't do is nothing. I agree Because with we're going to find ourselves in the same exact spot. Mm -hmm. And I think the community is asking us to do something better than that. But what it is, you know, maybe it is that, you know, but so. That's that's the point of this, right? Is is to really sit here together and go, oh, how how would we do this? And and it is, but you also have to look at our side here. Mm -hmm. We handle the school budget coming to us and all the departments, yeah. all the departments throughout the city. And with the outcry going on, it was like cut, 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 cut. Mm -hmm. And there's a limit that what we can do as far as our power of how much money 
we can give to each department. You're looking, the school budget is the biggest budget in the city. Then we have central service, DPW, police, right? And I've even asked, told some of my residents, I said, you want safe streets? You need your police also. You know, so we're into a position. We have a lot of work to do as city councilors on a budget, you know, and I, I still like the idea of meeting with the finance committee with, you know, with the school department. Mm -hmm. I think that's something I like, but I, I don't know. I'm just... Let's see what Stan, Stan had some things to say. Um. Well, thank, thanks. Thanks, uh, Carrie, for, first of all, bringing this forward to the school committee. Thanks for being here tonight. Um, I, I, uh, I agree um, wholeheartedly with, with two of sort of the, the, the framing points that you made. One is uh, we do need to come up with a way uh, for the school committee and the city council to work together more collaboratively and to communicate better mm -hmm. around all issues, but specifically it's being driven by the budget. Um, and I also agree with you that we can't do nothing because the community deserves us working together more closely. Um, so I'm interested uh, when you said, um, you know, that you're not wed to a particular structure, but you don't think it's would be productive to have both large bodies meeting together. Did you mean the entire bodies of the school committee and city council? Okay. Okay. So what, one possibility would be to draw from the, the finance committee of the council and the, uh, the budget and, and property committee of the, of the, of the school committee at four members of, of a working group. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that a possibility in, in your mind? Of course. I mean, yeah. it's, uh, it, it is, but I think that then it's, I think it goes back to what, uh, Marissa was saying about a squat, uh, right. yeah, the sort of um, what happens with the, the open meeting law with that structure and things. I mean, I guess you can set something up like yeah. that. We'd have to talk talk that out. Um, I I did watch the portion of the meeting on uh, August eighth, um, the school committee meeting when you introduced this. There was. I don't recall that there was any real sort of consensus about how the school committee might select its members. Do you, have you had no, any that conversation yet? It really was about the idea of let's let's propose this idea, and then we'd have those conversations about what makes sense because we also didn't want to boil the ocean, right? We we, we need to kind of scope, and so that was the this was that first straw dog of would this be the scope and structure? Okay, and it might not be. And so you and you didn't have any further discussion at the school committee the last meeting about no. about how this group might be constituted. No. Okay, so um, I I think that uh, I mean I think that's that is sort of the first nut to, to crack mm -hmm. in terms of figuring out how a productive group is going to mm -hmm. be chosen to work together. Mm -hmm. um, so that's on one end, and then, of course, then, then there's the, the work together. But, but so at the other end, um, uh, you know, what you what you propose as an outcome is is a report presented to the school committee and the city council, and the public for discussion and acceptance, presumably by both bodies, right. uh, and there might. You know, there, there, there might be disagreement uh, between the bodies about what, what, what the product is, what, what the report should say. But then, then what happens? What in your, in your view of this, what, what happens to that report? What, what's, what's, how, you know, how does then get that that get put into effect, implemented, or policy changes, or whatever? Well, comes out, out in there. Then I think we're talking about perhaps it's resolutions on what the school committee is going to do for, I'm making this up, political <laughs> actions towards something, or we are going to set different timelines and when we talk about budget. So we're ready to come to you to have conversation much earlier mm -hmm. than we do, or maybe it's, so it's, it's taking the information that this group comes and then 
deciding on actions after, whether it's a policy change or whether it's a workflow change or whether it's it's something else, or whether it's a resolution some other way. So it's I I the reason that I said report versus because I don't think it's whatever comes out, no one's gonna people aren't gonna agree on everything, right? They're they won't, um, more than likely. <laughs> But there may be some things that will come out that make sense that people will agree on that can move us forward or create a glide path to some better actions or some better policies in the future, if they, even if they can't happen right now. I think that's, that's the idea, is that you're taking the work and then saying, what are we going to do from here with this? You know? I, I mean, one concern, and this, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I mean, a concern that I have, and and this is even when I'm sort of tossed around the idea of of the of bring forward resolutions and mm -hmm. and that and that method, you know, we we have both bodies have short terms, you know, two year terms, um, and I, I, you know, I, I I could see maybe coming to some consensus on procedures and policies and timelines, I think it's pretty clear we're not going to come to con I, and and I'm not sure that's desirable. I I mean democracy is, right? Like that mm -hmm. we hold, you know, vote the way we do and we, you know, are supported or not or run again or not, whatever. You know, like that's part of the deal. Um so I I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud in terms of I guess I worry that it would be kind of a lot of time potentially more difficult, mm -hmm. you know, especially if it's in the context of open meeting yeah. um, and not just people doing the work, having conversations that we're allowed to have within the constraints of open meeting law and mm -hmm. bringing forward whatever we feel like we might want to bring forward. And then, but, at, and then at the end of the day, uh, you know, future councils and future school committees aren't bound to it. And if it, and if it's not consistent, I mean, you know, a, a member of your body doesn't, believe the fiscal stabilization policy exists um it is exactly it is actually a, a policy that the city holds and adheres to and and we can disagree about whether or not it is or not but it exists it's independent of both of our bodies um it, you know it emanates from the you know so i i i don't know i just worry a little bit that we end up doing a lot of time and a lot of work and end up with something that that you know doesn't carry carry through so what would you recommend instead <laughs> <laughs> oh well i mean no i've been saying like i'm i'm, I'm up for talking about it working on it so i'm not Nick, uh, i'm not marianne and then I'd, I'd like to yeah, make a comment thank you. sorry who is on your budget committee uh myself um karen foster cannon and mike Stim thank you so i yeah i did actually talk to karen um this so she, yeah, she she's definitely aware and was um, glad that we were unpacking this here. Uh, yeah, so I uh, I my first thought when I saw this was like, wow, this is a person who put her ego aside to be very honest and said, this we really need to do something, and I'm not going to just you know get overwhelmed and um, depleted, which we all were by the end of that season. And I just can't tell you how much I appreciate that. I do. And because even this, even, look, we're already doing what you wanted. Like we're actually already collaborating. It's something we could have done at any point, but we didn't until you exactly. did this. So we, you've, we've kind of, we're already starting down your road. And um, I'm just really grateful because it, it, it just takes, um, it just takes a proposal and where that goes or how it changes. And that was the other thing. As, as soon as I talked to you, I realized you weren't, you know, clinging to one idea about it. But just by putting, but if you, but if you hadn't put something out there, we wouldn't have. It would have been too broad and it would have been dropped. So even the discussion, even if we choose not to do it, uh, it we we're we're having. I'm sure it will lead to fruitful discussions. And I have less a concern about. Um, where it would go after. I mean, I think if you issued a report, you know, we, I mean, we still refer back to reports, the Policing Review Commission, things from other um, mm -hmm. other terms. So I don't have a concern that the, the the work would just kind of go unheeded if we all kind of left our post next time around. That's not my personal concern. I think it's completely appropriate and legitimate for school committee and 
city council to make policy recommendations about free cash, about mm -hmm. the stabilization. Now, of course, you, you, know, you feel this too, uh, we always have to qualify that we don't actually, in the end, control any of that. Exactly. <laughs> council doesn't either, Problem. exactly. But that doesn't you know that doesn't prevent us from you know let many, making our will known and and that's powerful too and that can have an impact so that's not a concern of mine either even though i we have this, we we you know struggle we have other pa powers that you don't but we still struggle with that same yes. thing but i don't think that should preclude us from from actually exploring mm -hmm. um exactly. so that's not my concern i i think on a practical level my and this may not be true on school committee. I can't think of a process where we would pick three to four people and we would get something different, a different mix than say finance committee or, or council at large. Like I don't, I don't, um, I, we talked um, briefly about um, uh, President Jarrett was, you know, talking about different models, like you can do minority and majority mm -hmm. Um votes and then you choose people from each but i feel like the makeup i don't know that that will get us any further mm -hmm. than kind of the natural makeup of our subcommittees mm -hmm. on council that might not be true on school committee mm -hmm. and so possibly we could have a different process for both in there terms of who you know who, who yeah. um and we do have the open meeting law issue of because even with three like it was three on who are on finance committee we already have a quorum right. so it gets tricky and yeah. we, we were we uh would love to look into kind of admin support too i think all any group like this that needs to be recorded and and have minutes that's i i'm i'm if that I'm still kind of processing that the strategic planning uh, group did not do that. All those wonderful people who are on that, and we don't get to hear what they say. Mm -hmm. I just I don't understand that it, um, that that doesn't make any sense. And um, I wouldn't vote to um, to allocate the money for that type of group again mm -hmm. because that doesn't serve the public. Uh, so that said, I think, um, and I I also wanted to tell you that we had talked in finance about. Um, about joint joint meetings um, between yes, the budget and property. And I don't think it's either or. I think in fact, I'm still gonna invite you all and you know, whether whatever is going on with this, I think that um I think the the times and the situation demand it at this point. So I'm going to be reaching out um to to um I guess the chair chair uh, Karen. Um, and the other thing, which spoiler alert, um, we, we, later on our agenda, we start, we're going to just touch in about our budget listening sessions that finance does. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing I'm going to say later is that if my feeling is this year, it might be a lot of school comments and that might be better served in a joint meeting mm -hmm. because what happens with the budget listening is it's just a listening and we, we kind of write up people's ideas and we get, you know, hand it to the mayor or the school or the superintendent if it's a school related but we're not we don't really have purview over especially over line items and all that yeah. for the school committee so i think if if i think this year it might be uh better served to have a joint meeting mm -hmm. and and really we are there just to listen we we kind of clear we we kind of answer clear with clarifying answers sometimes but we're not there to weigh in on um, so that's just a start on something where it wouldn't be a, a huge lift because we we're not really supposed to be doing the talking. We're looking for the public. So that might be a nice way to just get used to being together. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to talk to the finance committee later about that one. So I think it's not either or. Um, so we just need to and it has to happen. Absolutely. This collaboration. Mm -hmm. uh, but I just can't um, figure out, at least on the council end. How this sub like making a new kind of subcommittee would would be more fruitful or any different than um, than than how our you know the, than how our committees are already laid out that are existing. So, but again, we they don't have to be the same process on each. So you might you know you may want to, and you probably will continue that conversation school committee. Um, and I I think we also um, oh that was another. Um, thing that would be a great thing to talk about together um, in terms of budget and, or even actually full either full council and school committee or budget and properties and finance mm -hmm. is to bring in Alan Seawalt and talk about uh, you know sure. some of these questions these lingering questions about that and and also maybe, yeah maybe it is joint meetings maybe yeah. it's not 
a working group. Maybe it's yeah. something else. Like yeah. it, the point isn't, I am not, I don't want to own this. I don't want to, yeah. like, I don't need to run it. I don't want to, it really yeah. is. Let's, you have to bring something forward to be, have any action. Absolutely. Right. So right. that's the point. If it turns out that joint meetings are the way to go yeah. between those, that's, that's fine with me too. Yeah. So I guess, so my, I probably should have <laughs> led with my, no, I actually think it's pretty clear, Carrie. Yeah. I mean, that was actually pretty clear to me that you were open to, yeah. that you're really planting a seed. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. um, so. I really, I, I just didn't want to say I didn't do anything. Yeah. Right. Like mm -hmm. that's really important Absolutely. to say, like, I'm, I'm going to do what I have to do to move that forward. And if, and if this, and like you said, if it's joint meetings, if it's something else, then that's good with me. Yeah. Okay. I'd like everything that you have come forth with. I really do. Um, I like the idea of having a joint meeting with their finance school committee members and with us with our finance committee. I think that's great. Um, and even full city council with full city yeah. school committee members. I, I think that's the perfect. That's how I feel about that. I think she absolutely did a great job on that. I have to say, I mean, I, 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 when we reach relevant points and because we do have the constraints of the city charter, right. And that's, and that, and state stat, and statute and in, in terms of timeline about some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and I think some of that work, um, could happen jointly or in the form of, uh, at least joint listening yeah. sessions, or at least, you know, some portions of work, um, I I am not fond of the idea of deliberations uh, on anything that we would have to, and also I don't see I don't see a point where these things would coincide. Um, I mean, listening would, public comment would, and sort of the, some considerations of it um, would uh, for sure. But um, but I mean, we're just we're at different points in the process. I mean, right. part of, I mean, one of the things that was really frustrating about this last season is there was a lot of people who assumed a lot of things about what various counselors thought and things like that by virtue of the fact that, you know, it wasn't our turn to talk yet. It wasn't our turn to vote yet. And, and, you know, and I try to be, I, I try to be transparent. I certainly, yeah. you know, said, you know, and at various points, you know, I, you know, I, I wasn't hiding the ball about, things things i thought but i also there was also points in time where i was like well, we're going to school committee it's the time for, for they're doing their thing and now and, and then and then similarly after we came to the point then we you know had heard hours of public comment about things that were just 100 percent not our um you know our in our our purview right yeah. and um and so i don't know so it just seems to be something to be mindful of when we start talking about both bodies meeting together It'd be like when and to what purpose and exactly. yeah, right. that's so, the function right what's the function of that but what, yeah there would need to be that that purpose like you said whatever that is yeah, yeah because they're really two different entities mm -hmm. power over here and power with the school committee mm -hmm. what you have to do and a lot we have to do you know and i agree with about this communication. I mean, we need something put in place. It, I, you know, one place we could start would be and and um, to have your solicitor to the school. Uh, okay. Yeah, and and Alan, or or maybe or or just even have the conversation about clarifying roles and timing. Yeah, I think there's a lot of confusion even around along you know. In, in the in the council and school committee about that. And a lot is being asked of the school committee. I mean, it's just, I feel that, that you have so much um, responsibility without really the power. And some people saying you're supposed to make a budget as per, you know, mm -hmm. that's about what you want for the schools and other people saying you're, you know, you need to be thinking about how that fits into the school budget. It, more, I'd say more on school council and school committee than city council is this kind of, um, ambiguity or difference of opinion about what the role mm -hmm. of school committee is. So I think it would be interesting at some point to kind of, you know, really think about what those are. But um, in any case, um, 
it, I, you know, we could, I, I think wherever we go with this, I, I'm going to start my process too, which is does not, it's not a statement about any other thing happening, but I, I think I'm going to start with, yeah, after I talk to my committee, you know, about something about some maybe, uh, budget and properties and, and, and finance meeting, seeing how that feels, um, seeing what we can do. And then, and then maybe there's a time for, for, for both bodies to meet. I think every, every time we do that in January to meet all together, we, it's, yeah, it always feels kind of like, oh, I wish we could do that more. But of course it is unwieldy. We're not going to get, you're not going to get any, it's, it's a great, it's a great time to kind of get familiar with each other and be exposed to the same information. That's a good use of it. Like if we were going to all kind of do that, but I don't think it's a, it's a good use for to kind of come up with specific policies that we're all supposed to agree on. <laughs> yeah. uh, any case, so I'm going to start that while we kind of percolate around this um, and bring this back. But I'm, I'm just really grateful because I, I think we need to try new things on some level too. I mean, the thing, you know, it's, it, it didn't work very well for any of us. We just, we don't want school committee to be or council to be so stressful that no one wants to serve. So we have to think of a way to um, to serve the community and you know a little outside the box. And that's why I really appreciate what you brought forward. All right, Stan. Well, well, I just wanted to to reflect on that January meeting, which is the one formal yeah. time that the school committee and the city council does meet together, and um, it is a time to hear from the mayor and then. Some individuals uh, on the council or on the school committee may choose to give reactions, but it's not really a time to have a conversation right. like we're having here. And my concern about sort of throwing this at more more joint meetings of the full bodies is you're then you're talking about nineteen people, so mm -hmm. it is not as conducive, I think, for a full a a, 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 a kind of a conversation as mm -hmm. having here. So. I mean, we may find uh, if 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 Rachel um, uh, starts uh, or suggests to uh, to um, Karen uh, as the chair of your budget and Karen. budget and <laughs> property committee. I mean, if we start having some uh, joint meetings, we may find that that is really uh, meeting the goal of what you envisioned. Absolutely. I would I, I I don't recommend lots of joint. Gary's so. <laughs> <laughs> breaking out into a rash. No. <laughs> uh, I, I I really appreciate this, which you you know mm -hmm. whipped up between when I met you. But uh, this is also something we can refer back to for those types of interactions as well. Uh, plus, so I guess I don't have a specific. You know, I I don't think on council starting a new sub. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think it. My hunch is that we'll, we'll not bring any bear any newer fruit than if we the natural mix of some of our subcommittee are. But but you you know I think it would be an interesting conversation to have at school committee. Um, that said, I think that we absolutely need to collaborate and um, because it's 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 just too it's too big. It is. And, um, it's huge. So I'll I'll start that process. I'll report back to to council and um, and we can kind of percolate with that on council and see. And what I'm hoping is after we try a few different things like that, have a meeting a sub of the two finance groups or whatever, that we will, it might become clearer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Plus, I'm glad you bring it back to the school committee. I know. Okay. okay. Plus, I, I would like you, Rachel, to talk with our city solicitor on some of the policies and the issues of us being together and so forth that you were bringing up about the city solicitor. And I think that's a very good idea. Yeah. Okay. We are already doing something new. Does anyone have any <laughs> further kind of comments or questions for Carrie before we let her go? Thank you. Thank you very much for Thank being you. here. Yeah, I, I thought it was the conversation and yeah. wherever it goes, that's it's more than we were doing. And so I'm good with that. Yeah. So I, I appreciate the the ability to have the conversation. Thank well, you. Yes, for, thank you. Yeah, for your courage. Thank you. And, thank you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Have a good meeting. Bye, Carrie. Thanks.
It's almost done now. <laughs> <laughs> So, right, I just wanted to just briefly because, wow, is the fall just going really fast? Like it's October, you know, around the corner. So I just wanted to check in. The next item was checking in about the FY 2026 budget listening session. And when I was thinking about it, and I don't know, I, I don't know if this is going to happen, but I was imagining we'd get more school comments this year. Maybe not. Um, <laughs> actually, the thing, Thanks, Rachel. The other, the other two times, you know, we've gotten some, and we actually had that conversation when um, we first started them, which is like, oh, you know, it's not, you know, we don't, certainly don't want to waste people's time and have them talk about line items we don't have control over. But, but part of the budget listing session is that we we write it up and 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 then we have a documentation of it, yeah. and then we give it to the mayor or the superintendent. So we did, we felt like it was okay to do the budget listing sessions that way. If you all feel, and I'd love to hear your opinion on this, if you think it's going to be a lot of school, you know, specific comments, then we may want to consider having a school night and then have and then inviting the school committee. And I don't think it would be so unwieldy because it is a listening session. Um, but but if you all don't think that's going to you know occur, then I'd like to hear that too. Now, if you think it's going to be like it has been the last couple of years. Well, the, the first year we did it, uh, it was primarily, uh, that would have been the fall of uh, 2022. It was primarily around infrastructure. It was primarily uh, public works, uh, sidewalks, uh, yep. streets. Okay. Last year, it was predominantly schools. Last year. Right. 2023. Yep. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I, I actually find the listing sessions really stick with me. I, I think about them just personally. The whole, I like them. When we go into the, the there's things that I, yeah. I quite, even things like questions I'd ask DPW based on something somebody said in the, so I do, I think they're valuable. Um, what do you all think about having the school committee present? Having what? I didn't hear that. Um, cool. What do you think about the idea of having a night where the we we, we usually we had two nights. I don't. We don't have to do that. Um, but if we did this, the 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 listening sessions, which we did last year, I think the early, the was that the first year, uh, week in December, maybe maybe we want to do it I earlier. But I have to look at my calendar. Uh, any case, um, I'm not married to this idea, but I was wondering if we shouldn't have either full school committee or some some amount of school committee members for, for the budget listening session. I don't know. It may be hard to control when people show up and what they talk about. I mean, the, the school committee might have to listen to comments that aren't relevant to the school committee. Uh, is one thing I thought of, you know, people, even if you have two nights, people might just show up when they can and not necessarily if you say, this is the night for school comments. Um, but I just feel when we have, get a lot of school comments and I we write it down and we share them, but I, I feel like a little bit like I wish the school committee was there. I know. I, I also had it even, you know. I worry a little bit about separating out schools in part because of the, the public that listens in as well. Yeah. Um. In the, in the sense that you know, folks who are there to talk about infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I want them to hear what folks are struggling with about schools. And similarly, folks who are here to talk with us just about schools, yeah. to hear that there are also folks in the community who are, you know, worried about, you know, infrastructure or, or what yeah. other things. I think that's valuable to the whole community. Um, I uh, Would that be valuable for school committee to hear what? Well, that's what I'm that, not. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe like it would be the other um, uh, priorities of people. Maybe that would actually be an interesting. I I feel you know they have long meetings, and I really am not looking to make more work for them. So I really want to be careful about and conscientious about this. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I really get. I really like Carrie's spirit of what can we do, and I don't want people to be scared to put ideas out there. Um, because, and we may not go with a lot of them or even most of them, but I think we just do, we do need to kind of start kind of thinking about it. Well, take a look at Smith Bowick. Yeah. Okay. We didn't have them come in. First time I've ever seen that happen. 
when for the budget for the budget hearings we did not have smith folk oh yeah and they're part of the budget but, well but we had the superintendent i thought um i don't remember i can't remember if uh, we were remiss if that's no we didn't have anybody from smith we didn't know yeah, but it doesn't she that's unfortunate <laughs> I would well no but that i do you remember what she said about the superintendent addressed that? But I, are you talking about the joint meetings? Are you talking? Yeah. What are which one are you talking about? The um, no. Talking about budget the, here? No, we're talking about the May May budget hearings. We're talking about our finance budget meeting. You know how we have departments I, coming. Yeah. Yeah. They were not there. Yeah, but the super. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying. I I I feel like the superintendents addressed that, and I can't. I'll have to look at the minutes. But that's, yeah, that's, um, yeah, that's, well, we didn't have all, all departments. Well, I, yeah, we, I don't know that we did that. We ever do that though, because we never have. Right. And the reason is we don't do every department. We really do departments. We have serious questions about Especially school to haven't had. Yeah. But they, we didn't, not that we can't do that, but we didn't have serious questions about the Smith Vogue budget and, because we didn't have other departments as well. Mm -hmm. um, but of course we can change that, you know, and we have to look at what's going on in the city currently and make our decisions that way. So that might be um, where I think that you're right, uh, Marianne, that we should mm -hmm. um, just because of the perspective of seeing all of this, you know, all of the schools and all, you know, that might yeah. be a really good thing to do. So mm -hmm. just remind me in the spring. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to that thought. Uh, yes. So Sam. just uh, as a reminder and for uh, Marissa, who wasn't part of finance last year, the um, the two budget listening sessions were um, November 28th and 29th, uh, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday after the week after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I, I think we decided to have, Two nights this past year when we only had one night the first year was to give people, a, a, you know, a choice. If they couldn't make it one night, perhaps they could come the next night. Yeah. And I agree with Marissa. I don't think it makes sense to divide it by topic. Okay. I think that we're doing this for the convenience of the public. Right. And um, I think that um, it, it, you know, uh, people need to hear uh, various various perspectives. So. Yeah. Uh, I but I would make but the point I want to make is I think we ought to do them earlier. I think we ought to okay. get them done before Thanksgiving. Okay. And um maybe separate them a little more than you know, one night and then the next night. Or I mean, do do we last year I thought oh, I'm sorry, I, last year did we get did we did we feel like we needed two nights? And of course this year it could be different. But I had the thought last year that we probably could have just had one. Well, it, right, it was for convenience. It yeah. was for the convenience of the public, so that if, if somebody can't come one night, right. perhaps they yeah. can come the other night. Yeah, um, that's fine with me, as long as you know that you know there's usually one night where you get a lot of people, and then sometimes. Um, but that's fine. I think earlier is good. Are you saying not make them um, to maybe make them a week apart or something? Well, yeah. Well, I think. Or, yeah, I mean. Or some amount of. Yeah, I mean. I was like, what? Wait a minute. What dates are you looking at? Well, I'm not proposing any dates. Uh, yeah, I'm. Ju I'm just saying we had the talked about like before Thanksgiving and then or after Thanksgiving. Last year they were the week after Thanksgiving. My suggestion is that we hold them this year before Thanksgiving. That sounds better. Yeah, <laughs> it gets busy too. Okay, so let me look at that. Did you have a comment? Uh, yeah, I was going to say. Well, maybe um, in lieu of of doing. Um, a, a, a joint thing with school committee, maybe we could uh, deliver a, a report to school committee. Of, of, that's uh, thing. Well, that's, we do that at each time. We deliver a report to school, to the superintendent of the school committee. So that's, that wouldn't be something new, but we, Oh, I didn't, yeah. I didn't realize that. Is it like, is it presented at their meeting or is it no, just like a written report? Present. That's true. Um, we usually just send it to them, but we could present it mm -hmm. uh, or we can invite, you know, not make it a joint meeting. But, well, that gets tricky because if everyone shows up, <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I'm trying to think of how to. Um, well, you know, what we could do is ask them to see, you know, we could ask them if they want to consider it and they can decide if they want to, to join, join us or not. For You know, that's one thing we could do. Instead of telling them, you know, obviously, yeah. <laughs> they they know. I mean, they they seem to have uh, 
again, I don't want to make more meetings for them, but one option would be to, that they could make that an agenda item to discuss if they want to be part of that or have their own or whatever. Um, but yeah, we do, um, or, or we could present their, um, we could certainly present, yeah, that would work too. I think uh, that's a good, uh, that's an uh, idea where we just would present the information that we're sending them. Right. So to make sure. That well, I guess I wonder, would, could it, could it, but it could it be, could it be all of it, not just the schools, just be like, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. I think we, yeah. the, we prepare a report that yeah. goes that goes to mayor. this is what we heard. Okay. This is the entirety of what we heard. Yeah. It goes to the mayor and to the school S superintendent, well, and, yeah. school committee. Um, I, don't know if I, I think that's it. I guess we might, you know, depending on the comments, we may, you know, send it to somewhere else. But I don't remember anybody. Yeah. I don't remember. Um, Do we know if the mayor disseminates it to the department heads? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, okay. And Charlene has attended, hasn't she? The past, at least. Yeah, so, Char yeah, Charlene's graciously at attended, which is nice because what we do is we don't we don't we don't answer kind of big questions. We we answer questions to clarify the process basically, and and so it's really great to have Charlene there because she can just do that really easily. So we don't you know. And get off on on a going someplace that's not you know <laughs> part of the budget process but we we try to hold off you know make um having ourselves as counselor having any kind of deliberation or 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 weighing in we're really there to listen um is that way we call it listening there session? you go <laughs> but um <laughs> so why don't we why don't we put it? I I wonder if we should put a pin in the idea of what to do with school committee and the budget listening. I guess we're going to run out of time soon. I just because I was I wanted to, uh, I have this uh, because of the other idea I was of having budget and properties meet with us at some point. Uh, I wonder if that's something we could discuss with them. Um, but in any case, should we look at dates? Do you want to do that for a minute, and then we can go back to like who? Well, I mean, just looking at the calendar, we're. we're we're um as long as we schedule these um in before thanksgiving we have until the thanksgiving this year is the 28th so we're not going to have them later in november after the the 28th because that's you know the last thursday we're yeah. gonna have them that friday so we have uh you know, we have, we have the um uh you know anytime the after the election on november 5th it's only really one week because the next week, where is Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is the 28th. 28th, okay. So we would have, um, you know, plenty of time uh, during the middle part of November. Well, I'm only seeing only one week if you want to avoid doing it the week of the election because the week. Well, there's, there's the, the following week is... Um, begins with veterans day so we would have four days later in that week and then yeah, yeah i'm not here for the 20th 21st or 22nd um okay but um but yeah um and we don't have a city council meeting on the 14th right that would yeah that might be a good week that 12 13th or the 13th 14th or something Oh, you yeah, don't want to well, do it two nights in a row well, uh, yeah i'm I, I don't i mean i just uh, if it, it it might make sense to try to separate them yeah. a little more than 24 hours apart. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. No, no, I, I hear you. Um, I would avoid um, the 14th because that's a school committee meeting night. So. Oh, right. Um, and I won't, let me look at um, holidays, too. Maybe this is something, yeah, we could. I wasn't sure what, you know, if you all what you felt about the listening session. So I didn't um, write down available, you know, I'd propose, propose any dates. But let me just what sit think probably here. Us? Let me just check some holiday. That's budget season starts. I know. Veterans. Oh. Here's an interesting holiday. 753 day. <laughs> okay. Um And the 
free cash is certified by the end of November. Is that right, Laura? She's given us the time. I know. No, she didn't. She didn't give us a specific really no, it's November. Vacation hearing is actually November 7th. Charlene has told me. Something. Okay. Doesn't it? it? That has to have already happened by yeah. the time we adopt the factor. Oh, okay. So it's earlier than I thought. Okay. Mm -hmm. I believe. So I am I think, yes, I think at least one session that, that week of, you know, the 13th or the 14th. Um. Do you guys want to pick a date now? Do you want me to do this by email later or? Well, let's bring out some dates. Okay. And you may have to meet that week anyways, if the um, order to adopt the factor of one is referred to finance. Yeah, tax classification, that's what I was thinking. It's going to be on the 7th. And it's going to come back to the full council on the 21st. I mean, they may not, you guys may not choose to yeah. refer it to finance since right talking about it if we did can we have we done it that we can meet before the budget listing session and then switch gears we could do that sure yeah it might make the you know i want i want to make sure the listing sessions are kind of you know for the public but if it's one item we could probably um, not have to meet again uh -huh. Well, we could do the 12th and the 14th, and there's a day in between, or we could try another week, you know, do a one that week, Stan, and then... Um, I like the 12th. That's a Tuesday. Yeah. Yes, that's Tuesday. Okay. Tuesdays aren't great for me. Okay. Wow. Uh, how about... Well, about <laughs> me into a Tuesday something... How about the 13th? The... Thir Wednesdays are... Wednesday better. the 13th? Yeah, that's okay. Funny. So let's say Wednesday the thirteenth. When did we have them last year? Is it six? They were the, uh, oh, oh, what time? I was again. They were the uh, week after Thanksgiving. Oh, I was asking about time. Uh, oh, oh, the time that we had six, them six, was um, six o'clock. What time six. did we have it, Laura? Six. Six. Six o'clock. Seems to be looking at the. Okay, so six p.m. Wednesday, November thirteenth. We'll we will. Hold a budget listing session. Okay. Uh, yes, I, I I think it's important that we um, that we have uh, Charlene. All right. Thank you. Yes, we'll have to. Um, I didn't hear that. Uh, Stan was saying that we make sure Charlene can join us because she's really invaluable in helping with some of the kind of more logistical questions. Is there anyone else besides that? Um, Guess we could think about that. And this this is something else I was just going to clarify or, re or remind um, the committee, which is last year we talked about when basically if there's an item before us, but it but we don't um, have uh, you know we don't anticipate a lot of public involvement. We've done remote meetings, and I think we did the budget listing sessions remote last year. Yes. Yes. This year, I would like to do them hybrid um, if possible. I don't, you know, I guess we can see how, what's going on in October. But um, so I guess when I think of really public facing meetings, I think you know I think uh, hybrid is best. To give people the most options, you know, people's comfort levels with different, you know, with either being remote or in person. So this year I would like to do them hybrid, but that doesn't mean that I think that we need to do every meeting hybrid. Uh, I think we can use utilize remote meetings. I thought it was really valuable when COVID rates were up last winter. We still and we had one nice. item. We still you know or really something and we met. Boom. Right. And Zoom was I think really appropriate. There's no reason that we had to come out in a storm, you know, to meet just the you know, five of us. But I do think when it's public facing, I would I'm gonna endeavor to how what do you how do you feel about that? I think that's okay. fine. Okay. I, yeah. All right. So that will be a hybrid meeting. And do you wanna to try to set a second date or well, you're not going to be available um at so, the twentieth and after the, that next week. Yeah. And the 19th is a Tuesday, so that's not good right. for Marissa. Uh, we could do the 18th. That could conflict with um, a council. On a Monday? Well, it, it could conflict with the council subcommittee. Oh, right. Laura. Mm -hmm. one, Which, um, three. Is it... How about the 19th? Maybe the, I could possibly do the 19th. Oh, no, that's a Tuesday. That's a Tuesday. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, what about the 19th? That's a that's Tuesday. A Tuesday. <laughs> that's a Tuesday. 
Uh. How, how are Mondays for you? Well, besides your the subcommittees. Right, yeah, uh, legislative matters. Uh, yeah, that's a lot. Um, um, I just, I think community resources doesn't have a meeting that night. Okay. That's, that's two down, unless legislative matters. What do you talk? Well, would, would I, I always forget when. The 18th looks like the, the best, unless we go after, you know, which I agree. I think that's the best because we have a city council on the 21st, too. Do you want to, um, so. Legislative matters would be the committee and, uh, uh, yeah, avoid it. <laughs> we can make a point to uh, avoid that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So why don't we say six November 18th for the second budget listening. And of course we can tweak that if we need to. Um, Normally meets on the 11th, the Veterans Day. I don't know. Oh, right. Oh, right. We have to do it. Um, oh. We haven't. Can't be the 11th because it's a holiday. And now it won't be the 18th. You can leave it at that. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, wait, we could. Unless you, yeah. Well, we have to. Let's see what's referred, right? You know. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's hard to. It's stressful when you want a meeting to be an hour and it goes. Uh, we've done this before where we we think, oh, we'll be we'll only take right. an hour. And then. We, yeah. It gets really stressful, um, yeah. When it when it somehow takes longer and you're stuck waiting for the next meeting. So okay. yeah. So let's not do that. Okay. Sounds so, good. Um, you'll check with Charlene then about November thirteenth yes. and eighteenth. Yep, that's yeah. right. And then we have to make sure she can can be there. And um, okay. I think that sounds good. I will. I will also. Um, I'm trying to think to what to do about the school committee. Uh, well, I think Rachel I think we that, could present it. That one idea is to uh, uh, is to that that be one of our uh, discussion items with with uh, budget and and property right school committee. Yeah, let them know that we're going to have these listening sessions. We'd like to involve uh, this the school committee in some way. How, how what how can we do that? Yeah. Okay. That's right. Okay. So why don't I'll call the chair, Chair Karen. Yeah. I don't know why that's really funny, Chair Karen, um, and see if we can either, you know, I can just, um, yeah, engage her on that. If that's when, when the, her, her, when that committee, subcommittee meets, if they want to, you know, um, meet before the listing sessions, if they want to have a joint meeting, if they want us just to bring back up. Uh, synopsis of the listening Karen. Oh, yeah. right. but I mean, you're you're thinking that we would have a joint meeting with with, yeah. with budget and property sometime soon. Yes, I would like to, and I that's another thing is I'd like to just I have a few agenda items, possible agenda agenda items running in my head. One of them was this kind of clarifying roles, uh, having the solicitor solicitors here. Um, I feel like there were some others that we had talked about. Um, but if you, if anyone on this committee, I, I don't want to bring them in, I guess, if I don't have any, you know, a lot, you know, mm -hmm. agenda items, but um, so why don't we, do you all want to think about things that you would be interested in talking to the school committee budget um, and properties committee about? And if it seems like we have, a, you know, I'd say it take, you know, at least a couple of items, uh, we could invite them and. Does that sound good? Yeah. I mean, do, we have do you to talk about? Yeah, you 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 you're not feeling the. I'm, I I guess I was thinking in, instead of a joint, you know, a, a meeting of the full bodies that the two subcommittee bodies would be an alternative. But you, you just don't feel like that's something we need to. Well, I'm. I mean, I. Yeah. I, I'm into. I'm interested in talking. I can think of it a few different ways. I just don't. Uh, n but not without a clear agenda, not yeah. without an idea of what we're hoping to accomplish. Oh, I agree. Um, right. That's why I want to make sure we have a, 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 some, you know, agenda items. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, but, well, why don't I call? Yeah. Well, well, well I just, I, I will say that from my perspective, uh, I'm all for not creating uh, additional sort of structure. Yeah. And I agree with that one. Well, thank you, Kelsey. Uh, welcome. Uh, so I'm I am leaning toward uh, hoping that 
uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the meeting, uh, head sitting down with budget and property and us mm -hmm. will be the first step in carrying out what, uh, what, what Kerry has set forward here. I'm right. hoping that that will prove to be fruitful. Yes. Right. We could have basically, a, you know, a, I mean, one of the topics would be, you know, how do we collaborate? But I guess I, I would like to start nailing it down a little bit more with some more specific um, options, not just torment carry by keep having bringing into meetings to talk about it <laughs> broadly. But yeah, that's what I that was that that's what I was um, hoping for is a, a meeting about that. Good. So um, I will talk to uh, the, the chair. You and I can uh, to check in and you all can just think about anything that that meeting, you know, any items you might want on that meeting. Okay. Is there anything else? Anyone else want to say anything? Do they have any other new business or? I think we covered everything. We covered everything. We can all retire now. <laughs> okay. I think that we can adjourn. Move to adjourn. Second. Second. I said second. Okay. Aye. Second. Thank you very much, committee. You're welcome. Who did we vote? Aye. 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 <laughs> Everyone seems to be a